Hi everyone, today I have a new video. This time I'm going to do a cream shadow checkup and like well, my last one, the eyeliner checkup, I'm just going to go through my drawer of cream shadows. I'm gonna see which ones I want to use up, which ones I want to use to work separately and in this case actually I might throw a few out because they they are so old that I don't think they are really something I want to have that close to my eyes anymore. So without further ado, this is it, this is the drawer, and let's get right into it. This is the drawer we're going into, this is my cream eyeshadows only, and I'm going to go through them just figuring out which ones I've owned for how long, and then I'm going to start go through them by brand as well. So I'm right back with that. So here we go, they're all sorted. Right here this is my Maybelline Dream Mousse Eye Color in 10 Caramel Karma. Over here I have my Catrice eyeshadows. These two are the oldest ones, they're the eye souffle still. They were limited edition. And over here I have three Matis Day long lasting eyeshadows. Over here I have my Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 hour shadows. And these are my MAC Paint Pots. As you can see, I'm very much into my Maybelline Color Tattoos. But I also like the paint pots and the Catrice eyeshadows. However, this one here I've had for almost 10 years now. And while I don't think I've ever used it. Well, I dug my finger in once or twice. I'm going to throw this out because I don't feel like something that has been in my stash for about 10 years should go anywhere near my eyes. I'm going to put the, that aside. With these here, there's a similar story there. However, these two, I don't even know how old they are. The limited edition was called Hidden World. Um, I might research when that was and decide based off of that. So these are... I'm going to put separate. With these it's very easy. This is fairly new. I like the color. It's the only one I have of that shade. This is my current makeup basket. It's a golden -y shade. As you can see right here. I like that a lot. It's very opaque. This however is a little bit of a troublemaker. This is called Medal of Honor and let me see if I can give you a swatch. This one here, I just can't get to work properly. It gets patchy no matter what I do. And, yeah. I'm just going to throw this out, actually. It might have dried out because that one was the first I opened. So, I'm going to get that out of my collection. Okay, so I just did a quick research. This was in 2012, in the beginning of the year. I'm going to have those stick around, but I'm going to put those right at the front of my stash so that I can use these relatively soon. These, like I said, stay in my my stash. This is a kind of a mauve shade, actually. The silvery doesn't show up properly, I think, unfortunately. There you go. This works quite nice. This is doesn't give you the silvery sheen that it has, but <clears throat> so we have these four. These will be all the way up front in my stash. These are shadows that I'm like I said, this is in my current makeup basket. This is something I really like. Now the color tattoos, I'm just not gonna do anything about these. Let me just quickly open them though. Now, as you can see, this here is a tealy green aqua shade. This is a shimmery gold one. This is compared to the bronze. This has the biggest dip so far. This is also a teal shade, but this is much more blue based as opposed to this one. This is toughest taupe. This unfortunately is starting to dry out. I have to put this in the front of my makeup basket for sure. So this will actually after I've closed them up, this will be the first one I'll put in my, in my future makeup baskets. And this is a 
plummy kind of shade with gold sparkle. Metallic pomegranate is that shade. Now I would give you the names for my color tattoos, however the thing is in Germany and in Europe usually they are named quite differently. So I'm not sure if it would make sense. If you think you want to know the, the shades anyway, let me know and I'll put them in the info box. For now I'll just leave it be. The toughest taupe and the bat to the bronze were the color tattoos I bought the um, first. And these I actually bought in the United States, so these I'm fairly certain about the names. The other ones I bought in Germany, so I don't know. Now, like I said, toughest taupe is going to go all the way to the front. And this is the same age, actually, the tough, um, the batch of the bronze, but this doesn't look dried out at all. I'm going to leave these as are, they are. And then we have these five precious ones here. These are my Make Paint Pots, with the exception of the painterly one, because... Painterly is almost used up. This is in my Project 10 pan. I showed you a video of that on Sunday. Now the body one. Let me pop is a peachy sparkly shade. Idyllic is also a like the metallic pomegranate from the color tattoos. Vintage selection is a shade that pretty much everyone knows. It's very champagne-y taupe color. Rubenesque is also one of the famous ones, this is somebody, is it, it's, these two are actually shades I think everybody knows, pretty much. Rubenesque has more of a golden shimmer to it and Nubile is a slightly shimmery cream colored base. Now, with these I'm going to take a quick look at them at the inside as well and then we're going to see what we're going to do. You can see, let me pop, I've never even touched, I'm going to leave it at that. Nubile is starting to dry out this this should go into my the front of my makeup bag as well. Vintage Selection I have used quite a bit of. like this a lot. It hasn't dried out yet, so I'm okay. Rubenesque is giving me a bit of trouble. I have to layer this to make it look opaque. But other than that, it's okay. And then, unfortunately, Idyllic is also starting to dry out a little bit. So I'm going to put that towards the front as well because I like the shade. Now, that being said, let me close those up again and then we're right back. So, after my quick checkup, I have these two, which I'm just going to throw out right away. Then, we have these five shades here that I'm going to put at the front of my makeup basket because they need to be used up. This is one that is currently in my makeup basket for another week or so. Uh, less than a week, actually, for like half a week. So, this is that. This one I'm going to put back in my drawer like, oops, pardon me, like all the others. But yeah, I think I really need to focus on these five here. They are nice shades and I just want to get some use out of them before I have to either throw them out because they are too old or because they have dried out. Then these three here, the MAC Paint Pots, I'm just going to leave as they are. When I feel like using one of them, I'm going to use them. And the same goes for these five color tattoos. Now I hope you enjoyed my quick run through my cream eyeshadows and what I what I think about them and what I actually own. I'm going to put these aside. Like I said, these will be front and center for the future, for the near future. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!